Hello there, welcome. Akwaba, if you are from Ghana and you are looking to make the move to Canada, in this video we'll be sharing with you some of the immigration options that may be available to you to help you with your transition. So please stay with us, don't go away. I'll be right back after this break. And as always, remember to like our videos so others may see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when next we publish a video. And uh, check us out on our website at go.gooselaw.com. I'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis. I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer and I help uh, skilled workers, families, uh, businesses and students with their Canadian immigration matters and save them from having to deal with complicated immigration rules. In this video, I wanted to speak specifically to persons who are in Ghana and who are looking to make the move to Canada. We have um, a lot of interest, a lot of clients from um, Ghana who are oftentimes reaching out to us um, asking about the different immigration options. And so I thought it might be easier to put a, a video together helping you understand what your immigration options are going to be if you're a Ghanaian uh, national wanting to make the move. Now, firstly, persons wanting to come to Canada have the option of coming either as permanent residents or coming as temporary residents. And there are different types of temporary residency options which we will go through. But let's start with the permanent residency side of things, which is really the ideal, it's the gold standard. If you're able to come here as a permanent resident, then um, that's going to save you a lot of time. Canada's immigration rules allow for persons outside Canada to apply to become permanent residents even before they get here. And there are a number of uh, immigration options that are available to persons outside of Canada. One of them is the federally managed um, Federal Skilled Worker Program. Another one is the Federal Skilled Trades Program. Now both of these programs um, are managed through a system known as the express entry system and all that the express entry system is it's just the government's way of filtering out ineligible applicants so the express entry system is not um, an immigration stream it's purely a, a process that's used to eliminate ineligible applicants and to help create a pool of eligible applicants okay so that's what the express entry program does now the immigration streams that are that are, are processed through express entry are the federal skilled worker program and the federal skilled trades program both of which are available to Ghanaian nationals wanting to come to Canada now a somebody who would be eligible to apply under the federal skilled worker program is going to be somebody who has at least um, a, a university degree um, or higher no the higher your 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 qualification the 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 the, the, the more um, points you're going to be uh, getting um, so definitely somebody who ha at least have a bachelor's degree is going to be a good um, candidate somebody who is um, between the ages of 22 and say 32 32 33 uh, that person is going to also have an advantage because the system um, assigns points based on age and the younger you are the more points you get so the younger you are the the more educated you are that's going to be a factor uh, your work experience if you have work experience in a professional type job then that's going to be to your advantage as well and that's also taken into into consideration and then the fourth factor is going to be your ability uh, to speak and and write uh, either English or French and so there's a test a language test that you'd have to do and based on your performance in that language test you will be assigned points as well so points for all four factors are then combined and the persons with the highest number of points are the ones who ultimately get invited to apply for permanent residency inside Canada and so if you are a Ghanaian national and you think you would do well applying under the federal skilled worker program then that's going to be a stream for you and that's something that will be able to help you with similarly if you are a high skilled uh, worker you know you are a certified trained and experienced um, electrician for instance the federal skilled uh, trades program may be an option for you and the evaluation process 
is similar. It's just that it, it takes into consideration uh, your trade certification and your trade education, as well as your, your, your experience in a skilled trade. Uh, those are the factors that are going to be taken into consideration along with the language factor, of course, and your age. Okay, so those are going to be two um, factors, two, two, two streams that are going to be available to Ghanaian nationals who are wanting to apply directly from Ghana to Canada for their Canadian permanent residency. There will also be other avenues for permanent residency for Ghanaian nationals. There are provincial options. Now, every province in Canada has its own immigration program that's tied in with the federal program. The provinces oftentimes develop these programs to meet the different labor needs that, that each province has. And so there are also going to be uh, options for somebody to apply for Canadian permanent residency through one of the provincial programs. And generally speaking, one of the requirements to apply successfully under a provincial program is that you need to have some kind of a job offer for um, from an employer within that province so that's kind of a general requirement though that's not exclusively uh, um, that's that's not a requirement that um, exists in every single situation but generally speaking uh, that's going to be a requirement for the provincial uh, program okay so those are some of the ways in which a Ghanaian national can apply for permanent residency to become a Cana to, uh, for um, Canadian permanent residency rather alternatively one of the more effective ways in which many persons actually become Canadian permanent residents and eventually Canadian citizens is by coming to Canada temporarily, coming to Canada either as a student on a study permit or coming to Canada as a worker on a work permit. Either way, if you're coming as a student or you're coming as a worker, you will have, or rather, you may have the option to take your family with you. Your family meaning your, um, your, your, your married or common law partner as well as your dependent children, meaning children who are generally speaking under the age of 22, but, but um, um, maybe ch children who are under the age of 18 in the, in, the, in, the, in the context of a work or study permit. But you are going to be able to take your families with you to Canada if you're coming here to study, or if one of you is able to get a job offer from a Canadian employer, and you've then been able to use that job offer to get a work permit, you then may be able to take your family with you here, here uh, to Canada um, as well, okay? And then once you come to Canada, either as a student or as a worker, um, just by virtue of you being here opens up uh, all kinds of other opportunities for you to apply for permanent residency, whether you're going to be applying on their one of the provincial programs or if there's some kind of a short-term uh, pathway available at the point in time when you're applying or you may be able to apply under what's called the Canadian Experience Class, which is a, 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 a path to permanent residency that's for specifically for persons, for temporary residents who are already inside Canada. Okay, but ultimately a Ghanaian national wanting to come to Canada has the option of coming temporarily as a student or coming as a worker and then after completing studies and working in Canada for at least one year, then applying for permanent residency inside Canada and of course all this time you have the option of having your family with you here inside Canada. Alternatively, if you are able to secure a job offer from a Canadian employer, then you may be able to come on a work permit and take your family with you, meaning you'd be able to take your, your, your partner with you on what's called an open spousal work permit in most instances, not in all instances, but in most instances, as well as you may be able to take your, 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 your dependent children uh, your minor children with you as well and they in turn will be able to attend um, uh, high school or elementary school while you are working inside Canada. So those are going to be just some of the immigration options that are available to Ghanaian nationals. Of course, if you are a business person, you know, you are an investor uh, in Ghana and you're looking to, to, to use that as a means to become a Canadian permanent resident, then there are also going to be investor options, which are more uh, complicated options that we've talked about at length in other videos. But that's also going to be an option available to Ghanaian nationals who are wanting to make the move to Canada and who have the, the financial means and the business management uh, expertise and experience those persons may also have the option of coming to Canada as investors. All right, so 
if you are a Ghanaian national um, I, and you've uh, watched this video, I hope that you found value from the information that we've provided. And as always, remember to like our videos so others may see more videos like this. Uh, subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified the next time we publish a video. And uh, don't forget to check us out on our website at go.gooselaw.com. Thanks. See you again.